Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. I'll take uh, Ramon Tremosa next and then Mr. Portas, who has arrived, but uh, Ramon first. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Mr. Trichet, Dominique Strauss-Kahn said six months ago that the banking industry losses may not yet be apparent. He said literally, the still losses that have not been revealed and are still hidden in the balance sheets of the banks perhaps could arrive to 50 percent. And also Mr. Stroskan said that this proportion is much stronger in Europe than in the United States. Which is your opinion about this? And the second question would be that in the Eurozone, Spanish banks have not yet recognized any losses. Jose Maria Roldan, Director General of the Banking Regulation from the Bank of Spain, estimated three months ago that the exposition of the Spanish financial system to the Spanish real estate sector was about 450,000 million euros, an amount which is equivalent to the 45% of the Spanish GDP. Moreover, Javier Gómez Navarro, President of the Spanish Chambers of Commerce, also said three months ago that at least a 25% of this amount would never be recovered. In this context, what is your opinion about the Spanish Banking Rescue Fund, which is known as FROP? Do you think that a bad bank solution, which provides recapitalization and also transparency, would have been preferable than the current fund, that in my opinion does not provide enough transparency? Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. On, on your first uh, remark or question, I have no particular comment. I don't trust that there are differences uh, between both sides of the Atlantic in terms of, uh, of uh, losses or, uh, uh, I would say, display of losses. I think we are, in, uh, of course, uh, uh, two economies that have a different way of uh, financing their own economy. As you know, in our case, the financing of the economy goes very, very much through banks, commercial banks. In the U.S., uh, the financing goes very much through markets, and so you have a, a, a level of uh, structural differences that uh, one has to, to take into account. But I wouldn't say that there are significant differences on both sides of the Atlantic, and I, I, it doesn't seem to me that uh, this is uh, substantiated. That being said, we, as I said already, I trust that the stress tests that have been decided upon by the governments of Europe are important, are very important, and uh, I take it that uh, what is being done by the Spanish authorities in the present period, namely precisely to be part of this stress testing at the level of Europe in general, will be done fully respecting what we are calling for, namely full transparency and uh, capacity to demonstrate that uh, in a number of cases the situation is better than is perceived perhaps by certain observers and in other cases the situation calls for appropriate solutions and then the appropriate solutions have to be there. 